Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Baza here, and I'm back with yet another episode. Oh wait, this is the first episode of The Coven of Andy and Lele. Uh, for some reason, I've been requested a few times to play this. I've only seen a few memes about it. Not quite sure what it's about, besides some cannibal shit. But, <laughs> let's, let's give it a try together, shall we? <laughs> A little bit of monster energy, because I'm gonna be a monster now, boys. Very nice. Let's get started. I'm not sure how I'm playing this. Maybe with keyboard. Oh, I see. Uh, I could use like. It's a. Okay, let me use a controller. I guess. Easy. Easy. Easy life. Very nice. Okay. Oh wait, that's some weird ass controller controls, man. Huh. Would it be funnier if I... Would it be better? Fucking no. You know what? Fuck it. I'll play with keyboard and mouse. Just keyboard it looks like, right? But well, we'll see, motherfucker. Okay, let's try it. Episode 1. The Coffin. Okay. Lele. I don't... Want to... Let's go and keep to you. The fuck? I thought she was your friend. I'm very happy with anything. We'll get into trouble. God, do I have to read so much? Good morning, Ashley. <sighs> Wait, Ashley? That's the nicest titties, bro. That's what they all say, bro. Ah, you fell for it. I'm gay. <laughs> no, I'm not. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, By Nutrients Do Not Die. Ready, set, go. I guess it's in the kitchen. Inside the cabinet says, Nothing! <laughs> You're used to filling your stomach with water. But it's not enough, you buddy the man's sustenance. Uh. What about the junk and unpaid bill? They cannot be eaten. Are you, are you sure? What if you try enough, bro? The fuck? I was not expecting it to be like this. This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged the whole time and it's truly really utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes. Amazing, you should show that to your brother. God damn, it's dirty in here. The freezer is completely empty. Oh, so sad. A bunch of rendered movies. Their due date passed ages ago. But what can you do? <laughs> the balcony door's locked. Why don't we unlock it then? Hey, I'm on the track. Tra <laughs> I like. That's a washing machine. It's the cleaning closet inside of various supplies such as trash bags. Ah, I can use those, I guess. Oh, let me take a shower. No, okay. Can I run? Oh, I can. There he is. I don't want to talk to him. What's in here? Ah, another bedroom. Whatever, just leave it. Leave it for now. Okay. I'll go to bed. Your parents have fucked this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the information. Right, let's actually just get uh, into the brother. Why did the music stop though? Actually, I want to look at some more. Oh my god, it's a white nice. How thrilling. Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you got an entertainment like this? Love that. A VHS player cannot be eaten. What the fuck are you talking about? I've eaten lots of them. Eh, they're pretty expensive now, but you no. Know. Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. You also try to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Let's go outside. Front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. The oh, fuck? I'm still not sure. Hey! In the trash lies your hopes and dreams. Exactly where they belong. I thought there were like issues and shit. An alarm clock is taken away. Based. 
Love that. Okay, hey, yo, brother, I found tomatoes. Show him the tomato can. Hello? Hello? How the fuck is her voice supposed to be now? Hello? That's good. Andrew. Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! You know what I mean, Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. Then we sure on to it a little longer. But you're complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through a trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Uh, did you know it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. Gasp. I live in a den of snakes. Yeah, hey, don't run me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? Oh, wait. Why? Okay. No. Oh, put those two waiters away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. Oh, God. I can see that <clears throat> your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Through a future self. Oh, yeah. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Hey, wait up. I'll be there in a bit. Okay. Where the fuck's my bed? Am I sleeping in the bathtub or something? Good day. Are you still alive in there? Fuck. Hello? Uh, if you don't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either. Ah. I'll take that as a yes, still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check on you again later. Bye. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Come back. Warden, who the fuck? He doesn't. God damn it. Okay, bro. Hi. He boiled the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. <laughs> Adds even a little bit of pepper left. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gummy stuff right here. No salt, though. You used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I've ever ate. Kisses. No, I'm saying that's because I'm because how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an omni um um omni ominous ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again. Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got balcony key. Oh, that's why I couldn't go to the balcony. Unlock the balcony door. An ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. What the fuck? Can't really see squat from here. I don't know why he's sudden. Oh, uh, uh, what the fuck he is. Contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. Seems like there's quite a bit down, though. Seen it? It's only the fourth floor. Ah, okay, fair enough. Athlete, don't you even think about it. Ah, uh, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. How the fuck do I do that? We have, like... Something in here. Cleaning closet. No. What am I gonna take to cross it? The freezer. No. I'll take his bed. We'll use you a bit, bro. A hoodie. Based. Anything in here? Dirty laundry. Maybe the sofa. No. Oh, the board. I'm a genius. Got a wooden plank. Are we killing the neighbor? I hope. Put down the wooden plank. Oh wait, let me look at his balcony, man. 
These boxes are full of useless junk. Hell yeah, I was hoping for that. The oh, fuck is some kind of Satanist? A demon from hell here, my plea! Oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. God damn it! What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect! I should have killed that guy when I had the chance! What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time to let us watch TV? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. Yeah. I wish it was cleaner. Ah, the remote stare. Just push the buttons on the TV. <clears throat> Meh, what a pain. Ronald found some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, who is you? It is. Empty freezer. It must be in the freezer. Just some third. Okay. Where is it? Proper shit. Where the fuck's the batteries, bro? The batteries. I meant batteries. I'm good at speaking, you know. Detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Hell yeah. A mop. Oh yeah. Cleaning closet. Ah, that was good taking a shit, man. The fuck? Where is the fucking batteries? Like in here. Pretty laundry. Oh, that's my bed. Uh, his bed, I guess. That's my bed. There's an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Lele, and the very, very quiet. Okay. Says Andy and Lele, and the very, very quiet in all capital letters. No, sorry, it's Annie and Lele and the very, very quiet. As your original vision clearly intended it. Your artistic abilities have not increased since. I'm glad to hear that. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Got batteries. That was some easy ass shit, bro. What a challenging game I'm playing. I've got the remote right here. Ah, oh, that's okay, I just... I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. I can see you have the batteries, just ain't them over. Yep, I've decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. What exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I'm not. I'm not taking on the Herculean task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for turning in. Today we share you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We are happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now a comfy 53. <laughs> death toll? 53? No biggie. Oh god. I love this world. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Oh. Again? Again? Yes. That's... I, I, I feel... I, I feel relation to that. Relations? Fuck, I can relate to that. That's what I was trying to say. That's like three years ago. You remember that? Kept extending for like two years. And to our friends in quarantine. Thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested buddies far far away from me. <laughs> Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bet. You decide to do the same. Is that why my parents not here? Hey mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at the hotel for a bit. 
I thought... I thought they said we should stay at home until... They didn't drink anything. Ah. Not the booth? Not the contaminated water? Nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a cartoon. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my boss. You and Andrew can join us later. Oh, what? This one hurt a bit. No sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker. There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay at home? Your soul from your blood work will be done tomorrow. Your soul from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Lies? We are fucking starving, Bridge. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit the rubber fixer upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, it's not a real video. What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to lay around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I got to go, but there's no food. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. G goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Fuck. After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of rummaging, ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Okay. Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. Can I pick him up? Snorking. Snoring. Fuck. Can I throw it in the trash? No. Picked up some laundry. Yawn. You're cleaning. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it. Do we even have any detergent left? Yes, we do. Fuck you. Actually, can I talk to him? Andrew is too exhausted to chat. Okay. Not going to get this clean with your bare hands. I am. Shut up. There are more like... Oh, so sad, bro. You're not going to get this clean with your bare hand? Alone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning inside. They're like... I'm just looking if there's more like... Cleaned up some books. Cleaned up some books. Books. You returned all the books to the shelf. Now what else can you clean? My punching. Freezer. Okay. Got detergent. You're on the laundry. Now what else could you clean? Oh. Them up. Cleaning closet. Get mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Some dirt. Everything's clean now. We're feeling dizzy. Ah. Uh, very nice. The ideal American life. Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to ever do it. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantined households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like a meeting right now? On that note, we'd like to remind you all of your, uh, all of you to not, not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Did you still feel the urge to help? The staff will be administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be 
the fuck? You drift back into unconsciousness. That seems, um... Rude. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello. Of course, why is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your eyes. No, no, go ahead. I was talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, boy. No, I mean, yes. Well, that doesn't... No, I'm, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... You let me talk. The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. So that's it then. Not quite on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. All right, I don't see why I should be held accountable for it. Faint beep, beep, beep of a dropped call can be heard. Ah. Uh. Hey. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody that's apparently perma quarantined. Or because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. Yeah, true. Whatever you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for, for who knows how long. Figure you should check on your body, your brother. What's up, man? Can I push him? Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Call me, call me surprised. They actually got that person some help. Figured to just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think that bring me food if I got pre Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, do you have? We do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. What the fuck? He seemed a little out of his rockers. Oh, who knows? He might just end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell off out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it's just a fuck. Yeah, I guess. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours or maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's fully revitalized and <laughs> bursting with energy. I can't even run anymore. <laughs> okay, let's get the fuck. Oh, yes. That was good. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make such noise? So much noise. Oh, I can run again. Hello, Andrew. He, wa he was unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else is am I am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. It won't either way. Say you, the, devil, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. 
Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or next day will be me banging your head against the wall. A man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get the daylight river each day? Like, I didn't fault this up for us, did I? Unlikely. So I guess we'll see. And see you did. And absolutely nothing was delivered. Die. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think about... You think someone would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Yes, Lee, I care. Well, I don't. Care and all care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from the starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> no, serious. No, serious, let's go. Let's not, though. I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush. Never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have a, to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for the for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony, would you? And get your head checked. I should get my head checked. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something as the neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again, I wish it just... Oh, I think it worked this time. I feel like you should check out on that. Let's do it. My lord, you've come! And you are a, a little smaller than I imagined. I, I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. Whoa, do you rougher, human? Oh, um, I, I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the occultist. Occultist. So, um, am I already delirious or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do we want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. Woohoo! Burglary time! Sh shut up and let's get in there. The doorknob taunts you from the si other side of the glass. How do I get in there? Fucking hell. Use the ashtray, bro. Door unlocked. <laughs> Can I turn that fucking trash off, man? Thank you. That was great. That was horrible. On the table sits a book titled Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Now, did they actually have six, six, uh, 665 volumes before this one? Uh? Yes, do, yes, the important questions. But what I, uh, wh what I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place? Undisclosed author must be shy. Well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. The bathroom smells of feces and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Okay. Hmm. What do we have here? 
While looting the jagged spugget you find, a wallet with six hundred and sixty-six bucks uh, dollars and sixty-six cents inside. Now you got a real moral dilemma here. Stealing a dead man's wallet, will you? Uh, split, let's keep it all split it with Andrew. No, oh, aren't you a sweetheart? You got three hundred thirty-three point three hundred thirty-three bucks. Yes, that's better, cause now I don't have Satan dollars. I'll use some of mine to treat you something someday, maybe. Hell yeah, bro. He actually flirting. What the fuck? On the counter, seeing some the counter sits some cooking equipment. Both the free both the fridge and the freezer are empty. God damn, he's probably hungry too. Let's hear him. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Oh, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill this guy? It is. Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? It, uh, isn't that what you were insinuating? No, I was just making an obs observation. Ah, uh, but we we can't. If we if we do eat him, then that's it for for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I I don't think that matters, to be honest. I think it's just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though? And before that, you're going to tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly? Listen, you're all thinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? And we're not expecting an answer. Uh, um, y yeah. Alright then, let's find something to butcher him. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Let's take the knife. <laughs> Got a cleaver. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? So, you get the arms all handle legs. First you chop off the cultist. Right arm. That's probably what he used to jerk off with. Next up is left arm. That's probably what he... Cleaned his bum with the toilet. I don't know. You can't carry him out uh, in the open like this. Be quick about it. No, you can't go go get some plastic bags or something. I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. Counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Can I talk to him? I I'll get it done, all right. Just get the bags. Oh, what? Did you want to watch? I actually want to watch. Oh, watch. Thank you very much. Why, why don't you trust me? Oh, you're being a little bitch today. Just let me watch a ride. Uh, okay, then. Andrew readies himself, cleaver adverse to doing what he is about to do. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, what are we doing? Go, Andy, go, Andy, go! <laughs> oh god, she's a fucking psychopath compared to him. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you basket case. All right, the warden might hear. Well, that and whatever. Better hurry up, son. But did you just call him son? It's just me. It's just some meat. Are you drooling? I I'm hungry, all right. <laughs> ah, you're gross. Go get those plastic bags already. Leave it to me. God damn it. I worry about you sometimes. Thank you. Yep, anyway, I think there's some plastic bags in the cleaning closet. Need to conceal this before taking it with you. Okay. God damn, we about to get some dinner. Some dinner tonight. Get dinner tonight. Get dinner tonight, baby. That's some dinner. You got the plastic bags. I knew exactly where they were because I saw them earlier when I explored the room. So much to explore, bro. Got a left leg. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bag aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in it. Ah, yeah, but I didn't think we can cut through the spine either. I don't. Just fold him over. I don't think that's going to work. What you learn? Yeah, see, if anyone if anyone happens to be looking out the window, it'll be a disaster. How the fuck don't they have any blood on them? Maybe if I use two bags. 
Listen, this isn't going. Ta da! <laughs> Good God! No, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stop the tours on ahead in this in this freezer for now. I'll go cook up something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite quite he, the something. What is this? That's some disgusting ass scary sounds, bro. I don't like it. Andrew said he'll deal with this. I want to talk to him. Take the limbs to a freezer before they start decaying. Okay. I hope someone heard us. That could be cool. We placed the severed limbs in the freezer. Now which one do you want to eat? The masturbation arm. Alright, time to cook. We fry some meat. Finish ready. Right. So what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch munch. Hmm? What? Oh, you already- Okay. Eat, Andrew. You still not waste- You will not waste this. Uh, right. God, poor Andrew. <laughs> She's a fucking psycho. <laughs> but what? Have they been starving for months, right? Andrew takes a bit out of your cooking. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Hello. All of it. God damn, that's what I usually tell them. Well, 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 how is it? It's. God, I hate piggy eaters. I make this with love. You're not leaving the table before you lick the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Quit your gagging, you pig baby! Oh god. That's also what I used to usually tell them. <laughs> god damn, what is this game? It's so fucked up. I'll eat it, alright. Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Goodbye, I'm so proud. Just fuck off, Asley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We got a very limited set of spices left. But what do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know. Maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. <laughs> really? <laughs> She likes you. Who? Oh. My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Fresh? No. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. From my brother. Fine. I'll think. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Ugh, cannibal. Incest. What well, is this game? Oh god. Oh yeah, your girl too. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. Really you? I am the most personist lady in the world. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. I yeah. Seriously? Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Look, Sandy. Let's just leave her sitting here all night. That will show her. Uh, let's not. Eh, you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Uh, Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. She's always been a fucking psycho. What the fuck? Come on. Mom said you'll help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, 
thought so too. And she could be my friend again afterwards. She just needs to remind her how to do it proper. Ugh. Oh god. I'll get in trouble. How long will I let her out when she promises not to tell on us? Oh. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best! Today's episode is titled Andy and Lily and the Bitch in the Box. Oh god. One day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friend will take turns pissing on the ground above. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. What do I do about these houses around you? Where did you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play. And when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Finally! She's centered. Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. Oh. I mean, I guess it's fine. Hey, did you tell your mom you're here? Oh, no, why? Hey, <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she... Let you come hang out with a boy. Oh, really? She thinks I want to study. W went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. <laughs> what the fuck? What that even mean? It means see, he's full of crap. Don't listen. Are we going inside or what? That allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way right now. But damn, what the fuck? This is so fucked up. What is this game? Can I, can I, David? Thank you. And I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Remember to like, subscribe, watch my other videos on the channel. Leave a comment telling me if you want to see more of this. And what the fuck's wrong with Ashley? God damn, this game's fucked up. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, bye, bye.